Mark has a question. I think this is a good one. I, we may not have all the answers here, but um, says is I have a list that has suddenly decided that it doesn't want to retain the setting for allow items in this list to be edited using quick edit in the details pane. I keep setting it to yes and can use grid view, but my next session is reverted to no again. Any ideas how I can force the list to retain the yes setting? I have some office admin folk who are used to doing a quick edit in this list, and they're very confused that their spreadsheet isn't working. Uh, I don't have the will to try to educate them on how to get to the settings, nor is it, uh, the, nor that it isn't a spreadsheet. They just want to get on with their tasks. Yes, yeah, so they're calling it a spreadsheet, but it's a list. Mark knows that. Right. That's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what can we call? I it's mean, a, I, I mean, I, I, I don't instantly know why think, hey, permissions. It. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know why I wouldn't retain the setting because I've never seen that. But, you know, the low hanging fruit is to create a view that's based on the data sheet view that there is no other option. You don't have to switch. And either you make that the default or, or the quick training of saying, hey, just change to the data sheet view. I have that a lot when I work with large data um, sheets that I put into lists. I listify them. Um, yeah, we're going to make that a verb. And uh, I listify them. And um, we're going to, um, when I want to work in that, I have a working view that I use that's in data sheet view. But I don't. not everybody needs that. Not everybody needs all that that detail and right. it's a personal view for me to use. So each person can have their own personal view. If you don't want to make it a public view, um, you'd have to teach the person to make their own view or you could just make it a public view and then everybody has access to it all the time with the primary fields that they need. I have two think two questions really, two things there is, where was the SharePoint actually created? Like what are the permissions around it for the people that are coming in? Because they, he might have that, but they won't have that look right. you know that particular permission or the view to be able to go in and edit because if they haven't got those edit kind of rights then it's not going to work for them in terms of adding content um so permissions is a big one around where it was done created and is it through teams if they created it and it's actually in um teams because then the view is going to be different for anyone that's kind of going in in the first place it's a limited view because it's kind of the app like the light version of lists not the sort of the sharepoint version so how are they accessing it because they might not be accessing it through SharePoint. They might be accessing it another way. So there's lots of kind of different ways to come at it. So yeah. it depends on what you're what you're doing potentially as well. It could be the, uh, some of the causes. Well, and I agree with Sherry, like the first thing I would do is go and create that the, as a, yeah. another view, because if you're asking people to go through to change the view, who knows what's going on there? I mean, nine times out of 10, if it's anything of SharePoint's involved, it's, all, it's always a permissions issue. Yeah. Um, but to change that, that set up that new view um, and see if the issue uh, remains, if they could go in and do the quick edits that way, if they can't, then it's more fundamental. And it is, you need to go and look at the permissions because that was my first thought is like, you have the permissions in there. Uh, you have an edit capability, but somebody has higher level capability and they may not even have that level. So um, they, they may just not have the right permissions. Simple mm -hmm. as that. Yeah. And it's just as many clicks to switch it to grid sheet view as to hit a drop down and change it to another view. So it's not like you're making it harder for them. I know. I just <laughs> uh, that, but that would be one thing that I would do to uh, to uh, uh, try to root out this issue to see if it's something else that's going on. If you create that as a public view that they can access without switching the view yourself, and then see if they can do the edit. You know, uh, it, it, maybe that fixes the problem, or it's just a more fundamental permissions issue and maybe they need yeah. to do a bit of training on lists in the organization on top of that so they understand it's not a sharepoint and they can get how to actually work well it's not a spreadsheet yeah yeah it's not a spreadsheet yeah, yeah. yeah. i can help with that <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly we can we can we can all help with that one um because yeah i mean fundamentally if people don't know what they're looking at and they don't know what they're editing or how they're supposed to edit it or what's involved, then they're going to get confused because they're going to click around and do what they're not supposed to do. See, I have yeah. this post-it note on my, on my monitor that says, uh, lists are not spreadsheets. Also, <laughs> SharePoint is not a database. Just as a reminder, I just uh, leave it on there. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. I'm joking, Lists can be spreadsheets if you download <laughs> 
That's the nice thing. And SharePoint can, can be, be a nice, database. This can be spreadsheets. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And I would say that SharePoint can be a database. It shouldn't be, but it can be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look, can be, but it shouldn't thing, be. Like, now, the other thing I'll say is LIST is also evolving. So there's little things that are going on in there at the moment because there's so many changes happening. It just could be a temporary glitch as part of an update. And that it might actually rectify itself because there has been a few things happening across that space too. So <laughs> should we have started with, have you tried turning it off and on again? Should that be? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Have you tried a new list and transfer things over? <laughs> a new, new list. A new, new list. <laughs> and a shameless plug to that point, the lists aren't new. No, they've, they've been, been around for 20 yeah, years. Yeah. They were just called yeah. SharePoint lists before. Now they call yeah. them Microsoft lists, right? Yeah. So yeah. those They're those SharePoint lists, if you go actually into SharePoint, there's a lot more functionality in there than meets the eye because yeah. it's, you know, how it's presented in lists and or teams is, you know, simplified because yeah. people wanted it simplified, but there's a lot of power there. Mm. It's been a while since I've done that, but early on with uh, with lists within teams, if I would get frustrated, I just found myself opening up uh, within SharePoint and just working there. Yep. Um, so that would be, that's another thing. Go and try that. Go and see if the problem uh, is is consistent over in SharePoint. Yeah, give them access yep. to another list and see if the same thing is happening. Mm -hmm.